This is Jeremy and this is my first update in 2018 for the Sense Electricity Monitor. If you haven't seen the previous videos, look to the right and you'll see videos from one year, 80 days, and a few others. Four days after I posted my last video, Sense detected my Sony TV. And before that, it had only detected LG and Samsung TVs. And it picked up both the TV as well as the model number itself. I have it connected to the network. So as you can see here, it's pinging the TV. So I'm going to show a test. I'm going to turn it off, unplug, and show that Sense is still relying on the network to detect the signature of the TV. So again, hey Google, turn off the TV. Okay, turning off the TV. It disappears on the Sense app. And once it turns off completely, it'll disconnect and not be able to be pinged anymore. I'm going to go unplug the actual cable itself. It's going to start timing out here because obviously it's not connected to the network anymore. And if I turn it on, you'll see that Sense won't actually pick it up. It'll show an increase in power consumption, but it won't show up as a separate bubble. Turning the TV off. Power consumption again drops. I'm going to plug it back in and it should show up again. You'll see it show up on the network. And when I turn it on, it does take a few seconds for Sense to actually isolate the device from the unknown and then show up as an in independent bubble. See the power going up, the unknown bubble goes in and out, Let's start a stopwatch, and it does take about 20 seconds for it actually to isolate the TV itself. Power consumption is about 100 watts, and there it is. So it does take about 20 seconds. The next thing I was curious about was if Sense isn't detecting the signature, or at least the entire signature from the standby to the electronics turning on to the actual screen turning on, how accurate is the actual wattage reading? So right now it's showing about 90 watts. And if we go late, and if I go take a look at the meter, it should show approximately 90 watts. So there's the ping still going. Here, got it plugged into a kilowatt, and as you can see, it's approximately 90 watts, 89 watts. So Sense is detecting the power consumption, but it isn't at this point without the network help isolating the actual sig full signature of the TV, as I showed previously in my videos, where it's about 0 0.3 watts on standby, uh, it goes up to about 15 watts as the electronics turn on, and then 60 and then 90 watts as the actual TV itself turns on. I'm going to unplug the TV and as you can see it is still also relying on the network to detect when the TV is turning off. So there, unplug We'll see it start timing out down here. And I'm going to turn off the TV. Energy usage drops off immediately. But the TV is still there. 
The next thing that's new is after closed beta testing, Sense has released the web app. So instead of using your mobile phone, you can pull up a web browser on your desktop or laptop or tablet and view the Sense app there. I continue to use both Sense and Nurios energy tracking to estimate my bill and prepay it before it's due. And as you can see from November, I'm always within one or two dollars. And lastly, a few days ago, the CEO, Mike, released his uh, update for 2007, the end of 2017, and there's a lot of good tidbits in there. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below, and thanks for watching.